Ah, one of the lights. There we go. Ah, it's the window. It's the window. Cool, there we go. It's fixed. Explain yourself. You didn't explain what you wanted. Properly. Could have provided me with links, so I got it right. <laughs> the names were the exact ones you requested, right? The exact same. So... to sort that out, won't we? Mm -hmm. da -da -da. Send me the links, I'll swap them out again. That way there's no confusion. Who's joining? <laughs> Whale, hello there. Here's the thing, I was swapping them out on Frankface, whatever it's called. So, uh, yeah, if we want, do I have 10 more? I might have 10 more. <laughs> Let's see. This one. Can add that. I've got enough slots just to add them anyway. So I'll do that. So we want jam. We want D. Um, what was the other one? The popcorn one. What else? I've got seven more slots. I've added those. What else do I add? Yeah, I've already added them, Clapsy. I just looked at the top top ones and it was right there <clears throat> we can add another dance we can add the blob dance uh, let's do that we got more dancing uh, what, <laughs> what else mm -hmm. Catchy bass. 
Or Gachi Hyper. Gachi Hyper. Is that that one? Can I, uh... Can I search? Why do people happy? Right, I did that. What was the other one? Mm, white heart. Find it. Oh, there's a third one. Wide arrive. No, that's not. One. I've got wide people happy right heart. That's not right. But it is at the same time. <laughs> what was it highlight? Yeah, that's the same, same wrong one again. Uh, try dance. <sighs> oh, try hat, try dance. What have I ever got now? Uh, I got three more slots. I I haven't found. Uh, I haven't found wide hard. Depot club. Yeah, I can do that one. Poo poo. <laughs> wow. Um. Traveling to Hanamura. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. And K okay, cool. Okay, I've got one more slot. Attack commences in thirty seconds. Stop. Soon we will see if the hypotheses are correct. Piece of cake, my lord. Saying life has been busy has been an understatement. I would like to apologize for the inactivity. My life has gone from night owl to a full-time student studying business. I'm glad to be able to pop my head in and try to help out. Safe, safe, Dave. Ah, oh, thank you, Maximum. I appreciate your continued support. I hope you're doing well. And you're enjoying whatever <laughs> life brings you at the moment. Uh. I 
I like how Rare Parrot is one of the most used emotes on the site. Not rare at all. Ah, I invited you before, but you didn't join. Objective A captured. Commence attack on objective. Executing flight maneuvers. And yep. Uh, I'm not sure. Is there a way of searching the site? Because uh, I've got Yep with three P's. Moving up. Yeah, send me to it. Send me it. That's Franca face. Okay. I've got one more slot on I got one more slot on uh, BTTV. Two on Franker faces. The Pega aim. Yeah. <laughs> Seems appropriate. Okay, good. Uh, two more Frankenface ones. Is that animated down? Bit of a waste adding stuff that isn't animated there, right? Mm -hmm. Have I got a Corona one yet? On uh, no, Franco face. Can add one on there, that's better. that uh, I need one more static one more animated
Ah, white hard. That's Francophase. Well, there's various different versions. Okay, we'll add that one. Okay, that's that one done. I need another BTTV emote. I'll have to remove another one if I'm adding poggers. I'm not got it already. No. Um. I have to remove one. It's not animated though on BTTV. Need animated ones. It's no good otherwise. That's the whole point of BTTV animated. Move that one. Okay. Okay, Poggers is added to Francoface. Mm. Try cool. Yeah. Wait, I've got 15 already on BTTV. I'm maxed out. So I've got Dance, Party Parrot, Feels Bongo Man, Clap, Pepe Please, Pepe Jam, Pepe D, Limcorn, Blob Dance. We've got three Rainbow Dance things. Um, catchy Hyper, Wide Peepo, Happy, Try Dance, Peepo Clap, K Cool, Pepe Get Aim. to remove this. Goodbye, party parrot. And feels bongo man. Okay, so that's freed up th three slots. PP overheat. I just saw that one. That's Pepe meltdown. That's overheat. Synchronization, 100%. Genji, good to I've be back. Quick sparring session. You're on. Show me what you've been working on. All right. Mm -hmm. Game on. Hyper clap. I do play other games recently on the stream. It is mostly what I play. Overall. I play this on the stream every day. But, uh, for the last two hours, I'll play something else. Uh, for each stream. Might change when Overwatch 2 Beta is out. Might just play that by itself. 
it's doom it's the finale of doom today. <coughs> it is legit the last level uh, so Could have crab, please. <laughs> from that one. Party crab. Uh, blame Twitch for that. That's not my fault. Twitch determines whether I get quality settings or not. My frame rate is pretty bad today. Oh, I know. It's because of all the gifts. It's of all the gifts. Okay. Regeneration uh, complete. Let's just spend that time for now. Switching back to combat mode. Taking off. Oh, uh, hello, Walrus. Yeah, I got a new keyboard because my old one, that some of the buttons stopped working all the time. And it was getting annoying, so I just got a new keyboard. Ooh! <laughs> The emotes will be different tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already replaced that. But the changes don't take effect until I uh, start a new stream. It won't take effect until tomorrow, basically. It would have to crash for uh, enough time for it to end. That was a learning experience. Um, oh. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, best round. So what am I adding on the emote front? Because I got three slots. Change happens, get over it. On BTTV, three emote slots. Dvorak layout is the answer. Did I add Tricool? Yeah, I did. Pepe out. Give me, uh, I'll do it after. This round. The objective is 
Consider this, Aurus. Consider this. Uh, your behavior was bad enough for me to remove your VIP badge. So, why do you think you'd have uh, decisions on emotes? Keyboard layout is very different. Um, it was designed from the ground up to be much more logical than QWERTY. Uh, so, yeah, it's very, very different. Pepo Sabres, yeah, I've seen that. Regeneration complete. Switching back to combat mode. Oh. 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 Did I not actually tweet? Oops. Oh, I have now. Half an hour later. <laughs> Gonna make the most of that eBay while it's here. Huh? All right. Yeah, rolling happens. Uh, so what are we adding? Favorite subject in school. Hmm. Dunno. But I did very, very well on in mathematics without even putting any effort in, so that was nice. <laughs> um Science was more interesting, but I didn't do as well. So I can add Pipo Poo Poo. Um, when I go to the bathroom, the poop shoot. Um, haven't I got white Pipo happy? I think I've got that one. Yeah, I have. But it's not animated, so it's a bit of a waste. <laughs> ah, overheat. Do we want overheat? Okay. Right, 
So get rid of that one. And Okay, so do 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 Uh, white people happy is is static. Do we want to replace that with an animated one? And maybe shuffle one into Frankerface. If we want white people happy, we could put that on Frankerface instead. Yeah, send me that on Frank face, but we need to get rid of one on Frank face in order to make room for it. Uh, I could get rid of Gachi Hyper on Frank face because we got the animated version on BTTV. I think that would make sense. I got 10 more animated slots for BTTV. I don't know when I when I did, but we're uh, figuring out what we uh, want to fill them with. <sighs> PP hop. Hoggers, do we want coggers? Hoggers, okay. That's added. Added. Oh. Wait. Why am I at 15 again? <laughs> oh, I'm at 15 again, and we haven't got. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Removing this. Adding Coggers. That's it. There we go. Did that. So, I'll show you what I got. This is what I got. Anything you want to change? Adrian. This needs to be sorted at some point. <laughs> but there's plenty of time for that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is there a way of me um, linking my channel profile? Probably just do that, right? And then that'll uh, that'll show, right? Personality synchronization, one hundred percent. Good to be back. <laughs> Why is someone saying report before the game's even started? Come on, dude. The fuck could he have done so quickly? Huh? What could he have done so quickly to offend him? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, understood. 
Is it still worth buying Overwatch today? Yes. Because uh, everyone's going to be upgraded to two. Uh, the content that they're making, the two PvE modes, that will be what's gated behind the paywall. Um, so if you buy Overwatch 1, you'll still be able to play all that content in Overwatch 2 when it's all migrated over. So it's definitely still worth playing now because you've got all that time to get used to Overwatch and what it means and what characters you like. Um, and none of that progress will be wiped out. None of it. All of it will be migrated over to Overwatch 2. So you don't have to worry about wasting your time. What are you doing? I need to get back in there. Taking off. Ah, uh, I almost got it. <laughs> 3 HP. Just downloaded it. Nice. Beamer! I can do that too, watch. 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 <laughs> Come on. Oh, I hit something. No. No, okay, maybe not. Missed a good shot. Yeah. And there is a way of stopping Walrus doing that, at least temporarily, in the hopes that he learns a lesson. Mm. Yeah, good idea, Walrus. Good idea. Have a break. Why not? Yeah, I, I have already replaced it, so this is the only stream that can be used anymore. So. I need only one. Why can you still see it? Because I haven't restarted my stream since I changed it out. Oh, 
Let's try this again. Oh, Screw you. Let me just do that real quick. That would split up my bods there, and that's an annoyance. I could do it between Overwatch and Doom. That wouldn't be as much of a problem. Flight routine activated. Or maybe when I go on break. There's less of a harsh cut. Start when it's convenient. Cutting out a part of the match, not so good for the VOD. Can wait a few minutes. Yeah, that's the plan, Sticky Dog. As I said. Neural adaptation complete. Going free. And who knows, it might also give me quality options. <laughs> if you remember the quality option shuffle I did in the past, just restarting the stream constantly until I got quality options. Good times. Good times. Is it working again? Oof. MVP, nice. Good. Uh, are the emotes changed?
<laughs> Are they not changed? Okay, I'll I think it's my bot I need to restart, so I'll do that. Because it's the bot that I see the emotes in. I don't have the uh, extensions. <laughs> so. Get wrecked. Boop. Okay, cool. They work now. Nice. Thanks for the follow, Rev underscore Ocelot underscore. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. The Reaper out to welcome. Boop. Okay. Mm. That does look weird without Moira there. Baited. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Dream Elements, for, for letting us know that. What? Mm -hmm. oh, what? 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 What are you saying that for? Don't I have you in my list right now, Alma? Hmm. Apparently not. Alright. Big Boris. No. Um. Good. Can't do you two unless British isn't here. Mm. Oh, yes. Good.
Thank, thanks, atmosphere underscore owl. For the follow, welcome. Ah, oh, thanks. Why no? Ah, yeah, yeah! Um, because it wasn't requested. No, ah, yeah, yeah. No. No. Ah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, that's good, Max. It's good some people enjoy my content. I was looking at the comments for the latest uh, Fresh Nuts and New Panther videos, and there was a lot of negativity in there. I should be a voice actor. The stream tag says the hero is Hanzo. Might be because I was duplicating Hanzo when using my alt. So yeah, the tag system, the automatic tag system might get a, a bit confused about Echo because it's looking for the hero and the hero abilities and then it sees a different hero and it gets confused. Greetings. Welcome to Paris. Yeah, it's fine. These things happen. All the way to Iceland, over the sea. A bit of Reykjavik time. Yeah, no problem, Max. I feel like there's a lot of people who are looking for very high energy content for Overwatch. And that's why they don't like my streams, because mine are not that. But there are people who do enjoy my more relaxed Overwatch streaming and other content. And although it's a very niche uh, audience, it, it does exist, you know. Yeah. I can't watch XQC for long. He talks far too fast and is a bit too toxic for my liking. So, uh, yeah. It's difficult to find more, more chill, more relaxed content, I find. Uh, the XP um, you get from competitive is actually a lot worse than quick play. If you want the details of that, uh, look for my XP guide on YouTube. I preferred XQC before he was 
like the meme kid, right? When he was actually, you know, just a normal guy uh, that liked uh, making guides on how to uh, do really well as Winston, you know? That was like super, super early on. If you look at his earliest videos, he's actually a super nice, normal guy that uh, is trying to be helpful and trying to help people play Winston better, right? But yeah, the popularity changed him into a meme kid. The thing is, though, it happened because it worked, right? Acting out got him famous, and continuing that continues his prosperity and his success. Uh, 3v3 is superior in terms of XP, yeah. The elimination game modes are very good for XP. Uh, the captions are a service called Web Captioner, which is completely free to use. Yeah. That happens with a lot of famous people. They get so famous they think they're exempt from the rules. And, to, and the problem is, a lot of um, companies, when they've got a successful person on their hands, they will be naturally more lenient towards them, because they make them a lot of money. And that happens with big streamers, they can get away with a lot more, because they're making the company a lot of money. There's a massive discrepancy in law, in rule enforcement between big streamers and small streamers. A big streamer can do something quite bad and only get a slight punishment or no punishment at all. And a small streamer even slips up slightly and gets the whole channel banned. Right? So... That definitely doesn't help in trying to encourage the big streamers to behave themselves. Which then, in turn, doesn't uh, set a good example for the smaller streamers. Do I ever play comp? Not anymore now. Ooh, nice. There's not much that can be done about it, though. If anything at all. It's just what happens. And it happens in every industry. And it's not even something that always happens deliberately it can be a subconscious bias right a bigger streamer you're more likely to treat well because they're a big streamer right whether you mean to or not those punishments those uh, consequences are going to be less harsh if they're a nobody you don't care about them and therefore you know a harsh punishment is easier to dish out something to survive. Oh. 
It was a six minute game now, so it wasn't a complete roll. Gold objective to my kills. That's my name. Is that a song? talking about can't play it on the stream Yeah, it's Saturday, which is why I'm streaming. Personality synchronization, one hundred percent. Good to be back. Activating the barrier. Who wants to see my new keyboard? It's in images. It's the same brand as my mouse. Uh, Thunder underscore nut 77. Thanks for the follow. It's a, uh, it's a red dragon, a Chinese brand, quite a chunky keyboard really. It feels nice to, to push the buttons. I like it better than the other one, actually, in terms of the feel and the sounds. I think they're blue switches. I mean, I can make it loud, but I can also not make it loud. Of 
I thought it was something a bit different. And I, I figured, oh, maybe it'll take a bit of getting used to because the keys are weird, but no. Nah. It's a little weird when trying to type, like, full sentences on it, but uh, in terms of just gaming on it, it's fine. Doesn't seem very different. Uh, the old Overwatch one, some of the buttons started not working all the time. Especially in the um, keypad area. So uh, when trying to type numbers, oftentimes the zero key just didn't want to work. I had to keep pushing it until it worked. And then it ended up with more zeros than I wanted. And uh, it's just annoying. And, uh, you know, that wasn't the, the, they weren't the only keys that didn't work all the time. Most, the, most of the main board worked okay, but, uh, yeah, if it's starting to do that on the number pad, it would only be a matter of time until the rest of the board started playing up, so, time for a new one. And I'd had that one for about three years, so. It lasted a while. I bought it on Amazon. Um, Regeneration complete. Switching back to combat. It's a global emote. Right. We're not desperate for another slot though right now. So. Ah, oh, come on. Get with the sucky suck. Ah, oh, he got the hook. Be affiliated to get BTT VMOs? No, I don't think so. As it's a third party site, so they don't get anything out of it. So there's no point restricting it. In fact, restricting it would hurt them more than not restricting it, so. Because yeah. it works off a. Uh, like premium subscription model. If you buy their membership, you get more emote slots. And there's no point restricting that to certain individuals. Might as well open it up to everybody.
Mm. Only eight deaths so far. Slacking. Rude. What a big fat cocker. Some kind of meat. Yeah, that's a lot of deaths. I've died more more times than uh, coronavirus people so far. So far. So, uh, that's a lot of days in the death screen, indeed. Who's not selecting? Claps. Lapsy selector roll. It's the uh, finale of Doom today. And I did manage to get Chaos Mod working. After much fiddling about. So uh, Chaos Mod will be returning soon. That's a chunky link. Mm -hmm. 
it says oh without number powder mm. Um, I played GTA Online when it was new. I don't think I'd like a white keyboard myself. Is that brown switches? Looks, looks like a decent keyboard. If you don't mind not having a number pad, I kind of need a number pad myself because I use it a lot. Potato man for the follow. Hello. Oh. Yes. Personality synchronization, one hundred percent. I'm going to be back. How long will chips be on the bench? Twice as long as someone who's on the bench half as much. Is 
Hello. Got him. Ooh. Okay. Did I not get quality options with the restart? Rip that. Ah. I'd have preferred McCree, but he wasn't about. Oh, suck fast enough. that. Angle of 
now they're adding a basketball reset button. I wonder how many people are going to stand around in this one room just trying to punch the basketball into the hoop instead of actually playing the match. <laughs> hey, Alpha Baby! Greetings! by Echo, she's a lot of fun. And, um, especially enjoyable since I know how to play every single other hero. And not only a little. So no matter who I use her on, I can still know what to do. Um, I don't want to slip. No. Oh well, that's the end of that. Didn't get anything bad. Oh well. Aspects of Echo are most annoying, would you say? Gee. I like Para. I like Para. Mm. 
Mm. You know, I still haven't seen that ever elusive for a legendary loot box. Mm. Out of every item in the game, everything you can get from loot boxes. Yeah. I'm missing a lot of Overwatch League stuff and a lot of competitive stuff, but... And I've only got two golden weapons, but apart from that... It'd be nice if golden weapons didn't count. They were like uh, some of the other unlocks that didn't count unless you had them, right? That way it would look more complete. But uh, I'm stuck with one missing from everyone except for the two heroes I have golden guns for. Thanks, Javier! Uh, for the follow. Welcome. Yeah, and then you got my uh, my rainbow in quick play. Um, Level up, which is rather nice looking, if I do say so myself. That took a lot a lot of fiddling about to get <laughs> to get them in the right order, especially recently when they changed the color of Moira. Moira was the same color as Reaper, and now she's all the way down here, which means I had to get time on all of these heroes just to get her back <laughs> down to where she needs to be. Ugh. That was a mess, but I got it done. <laughs> Moira's colour works better now. She, she, the purple goes better with Moira than the red colour did before. And they changed Echo's colour because Echo's colour was the same. It was that dark red colour. But now it's a much more appropriate light blue. So that's nice. She'll go in between Symmetra and May. She works very, very well there. But I have to get her hours up in order to fit her in there. Personality synchronization 100%. Double confirmed. Type echo. Type echo. Type echo. Hey there. Type echo. Oh, how rude. Oh, wow, everyone died. <laughs> Neural adaptation complete. Adjusting angle of attack. Double confirmed. You missed me. Ahlan? Double confirmed. Hello there. Oh. Sleepy robot. Traveling to Volskaya is prepared to attack. Select your hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mission 100%. Good to be back. Was there a reason why you got Sombra Golden Gun? Yeah, it looked cool and I figured I'd get them all eventually anyway. Which I was wrong about. <laughs> Cash register lady. Yep. Boop. The level is is not capped, but the border itself is. So it just goes round and round. There are only five borders in the game, so diamond is the max. If there were enough borders to encompass my level, there would be at least, at least 19 borders in the game. Because that's how many borders you need in the game to represent my level accurately. But they are getting rid of the border system entirely with Overwatch 2 and replacing it with something else. So, uh... Don't have to worry about that problem for much more time. Most of the rest of the year, maybe, and then not really anything beyond that. Yeah. I mean, in programming terms, there has to be a cap. Right. Um... Now, whether they've programmed that as a hard cap or just left it because it's so high, there's no way anyone could get there. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but knowing Blizzard and their programming practices, from what I've seen uh, through experimentation, uh, the maximum level cap is probably somewhere in the billions. Um, either 2.5. 5 something or 4.3 billion uh, <clears throat> and if you know anything about programming you'll know why those numbers specifically the next lower number it could be in programming terms is 65,535 which although is very high it's possible to earn it would require several decades but it would be possible so Blizzard would probably err on the side of caution and go with the 4.3 billion uh, number instead. Just to make it impossible to earn that higher level. Uh, what level would the cheater be at this time if you kept leveling at the same rate? Much higher. Um... I could probably work it out. What day did Ash come I'm out? What was the roost day of Ash? Overwatch Ash release date. Hey. November 5th. Okay. So it's 30 times the number of days since November 5th, 2018. I'd say, if he was getting consistent, because he was consistently getting like 25 to 30 levels a day, so, that's nuts. So you're looking at um, a full year plus about five months, so about uh, 17 months, times by 30, times by 30. Uh, 15,300 plus the level they were, which is about 8,000 something. So you're looking at about level 23-24,000 if they continued leveling like that. So it's good Blizzard did something about it, huh? That's assuming 30 levels a day. If 
it's appropriate to use it, it's fine. But spamming at every message, that's a problem. So it's good that person decided after they closed his exploit opportunities. Oh, that's fine. I'll just leave it. Because it looks like that's all that kept them playing. Playing. <laughs> just the leveling up part. And once they killed that for them... Yeah, they're still, they're still pretty much the level they were when they stopped. 8.4k. <laughs> Got Ash's cute spray on your alt. Nice. That's killing someone who's knocked up by Bob, right? Yeah. Easy. So do you have overbite or underbite? Neither? Oh, back teeth. Hi, Tree Boy Dave. It's Hello. been a while since I've watched your stream. Hope you're enjoying Echo. I am, yeah. Thanks, Satars. Six month streak with Twitch Prime. That's significant. Uh, thank you. <laughs> left te teeth keep biting the left side of your mouth. Have you gone to see a dentist about it? See whether there's anything they can do? Dentist is closed. Ugh. Virus. Yeah, I was thinking of getting my teeth looked at before I uh, hopped off to the other side of the pond. Um, although, there's no priority on that right now. Especially since I can't. the point in just tweeting WTF just by itself with no context <laughs> did Trump do that uh, not as far as I'm aware I'm not actually following Trump I unfollowed him at some point probably should just refollow him just for the memes in his feed I'd rather not it's a lot of spam
Um, the other day, he thought it was a good idea to uh, suggest injecting yourself with uh, disinfectant to get rid of the coronavirus, which is, of course, a deadly uh, suggestion. And then later he says, like, oh, yeah, I was being sarcastic. It didn't look like it. Definitely didn't look like it. Anyway, it's break time. Break!
continue we must So we're looking for a couple tanks. Now you want to join the group? I suppose that could be arranged. So I hear North Korea's supreme leader Kim Jong-un is not doing well. Um, he had some he had failed cardiovascular surgery and uh, yeah his health is not good they've had to send doctors from China to check up on him to try and figure out how to fix him up And uh, having heart problems at 36 years old is not a good sign. He's only 36. And if you take out the G's, it's pretty much correct. Close enough. Yeah, he is he is rather overweight. Um and he smokes apparently as well, so it's just he's been abusing his body for years. And now he's facing the consequences for it. If he died, who would take over? Not sure. Um, um da, the Kim Dynasty. He's got a brother. And two sisters. His cousin was assassinated. Uh, his father is dead. Which is why he's the leader now. Um... His cousin was assassinated. Yeah. He had his cousin assassinated. Because his cousin was... Uh, <clears throat> a favourite among people... Certain people to take over. So he had him killed. In order to retain power. Unopposed. Don't, don't play a video without asking me first. Wow. Hmm. 
sister. Select your hero. He has a son. The children have yet to be officially mentioned in state media and the oldest is believed to be a son born in 2010. He's only 10 years old. Not really old enough to be uh, a successor. So if he died now, he wouldn't. His son wouldn't be old enough to uh, assume the leadership role. He's got a nephew born in 1995. Um. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers in. But it's unlikely he would. He would be eligible because his father was assassinated so that's no good it's not it's not a clear-cut thing who would get to be leader not at all He has got a, a, a living brother, but his brother isn't interested in that kind of thing. He's more interested in playing the guitar than politics. So. <laughs> so his brother wouldn't want it. Um. <laughs> His sister, maybe not because she's female. I doubt they'd, they'd select a female as the uh, leader. It's unlikely. It's possible, but I don't think so. So, out of all the options, none of them are good candidates for, for the leader. None of them are a clear answer to who would take over. So it'll be certainly interesting to see what happens if uh, Kim Jong-un does not survive. There might be a power struggle of some sort. And the Kim, Kim dynasty may end. Reunification is something that they're nowhere near ready for yet. North Korea leadership as a whole would need to be totally open to the idea of rejoining the world. And that's definitely something they're not ready for yet. Unless the leadership changes drastically, and it would have to, then uh, reunification is something that's not on the cards anytime soon. If the leadership that ends up emerging from this event ends up being much more of a uh, global player rather than an isolationist and uh, supremacist uh, government, then um, maybe reunification is something North and South Korea can work toward. But uh, it's unlikely that uh, that kind of thing can emerge directly from this. We'd have to evolve slowly into that. Maybe it has been evolving behind the scenes all this time. 
They just need an opportunity. Is it because he's so in shape? That shape being round, being a circle. He's been in power since 2011, so almost 10 years. That may end because he's he didn't treat his body with respect. Take that as a lesson. Don't make his same mistakes. The, the, the good news about Corona is that the lethality in young people is very, very low. Very, very low. The younger you are, the better chance you have of surviving. Now, that's very different to the flu. The flu is uh, dangerous for young people and old people. So you get a U shape where the most most people at danger are the very young and they're very old. And then, you know, between those, much lower rate of lethality. Why do you hate old people? <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being old? It happens. They were born before you, not a fan. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be around if they weren't born before you. I think it's an advantage, myself. You get to experience more advanced technology throughout your life than they did throughout theirs. And that's cool, right? It's neat. Yeah, you probably will be able to go to space one day. Yep. It'll be a little pricey. But you might be able to go on holiday to another planetary body in the solar system. You know? Cheap space flight is something that will evolve over time. Space tourism. Space business. It's all exciting stuff. <laughs> Aliens. Lol. Um... The most likely scenario for aliens is that we will become the aliens over time. So if you look at things long term, as humans expand throughout space, and it would be very slow, but it would be gradual. Not everyone would want to stay in the home system. Some would want to branch out. Over time, those distant colonies will start to evolve in their own directions 
And eventually you'll have a situation where people from other star systems will look and sound and, and be very, very different to ourselves, right? They'll become the aliens. And we're talking about generations, many, many generations, right, over, over many years. Because these distant colonies will have very little interaction with Earth because they will be so far away. So they'll start to diverge in terms of evolution and uh, culture and language. It depends wh whether you'll still be alive will depend entirely on medical science, cybernetic science, technology in general. What will humanity look like in a hundred years, in a thousand years? Will we be living virtual lives because it's just better? Will we be biologically immortal because of medical science it'll be interesting to see what happens That was a lie, it is not. <laughs> wow, you admitted it very quickly, didn't you? Didn't ya? Sixteen minutes. Oh. I think interstellar travel is going to be fairly rare because it's a very long, slow process and most people will not be willing to do that. But some will. You might need generational ships or you have ships large enough to hold many families that have kids over time and then those kids grow up and have kids all on the way to the destination, which would take many, 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 many years. And then eventually they get there, and hopefully it's what they were expecting. <laughs> um, that's assuming that life extension is not a thing, um, to the point where you can live hundreds of thousands of years, uh, which would be technically possible. Uh, if we figure it out. So it, it depends on how good life extension is at that point. Because if you think about it, all the whole medical um, field is all about life extension, right? Uh, people die due to all sorts of different conditions. And medical science is trying to extend their life beyond what they would have experienced otherwise so the more you uh, advance medical science the longer people can live to the point where they can live as long as they want um, barring any kind of accidents of course but people will still die through accidents and maybe some rare diseases that medical science hasn't quite figured out yet um, but uh, people would no longer die from just the passage of time itself. But you have to remember, even animals in the wild that don't age through time still die, either through predation, being killed by like a bigger, meaner animal, or through disease. These things do happen. The lobster is a good example. Uh, lobsters don't biologically age. 
they just get bigger and bigger and bigger over time. Uh, every molting cycle they just get slightly bigger. So the bigger a lobster the older it is basically. Yeah. So I think I read that uh, the life expectancy of a human if you solve aging uh, it goes from where it is now about 75 80 depending on what country you're in uh, to somewhere in the thousands um, so on average on average someone would live several thousand years some people would live a lot longer some people would live a lot shorter depends on their circumstances and it's likely that um, careers that involve a lot of danger would be less desirable and more likely to be performed by expendables. For example, robots with uh, primitive AI. But yeah, it's exciting stuff. I wouldn't mind living thousands of years. I don't think I get bored of that. There's plenty of stuff to do in experience, even in that much time. And I'd be excited to see how things evolve and change over time. Because if everyone gets to live that long, then I don't need to worry about not living people so much. Some people would, I think some people would object to it. They think that human lifespans should stay the way they are because that's the way they've always been. But that, that's silly in my opinion. People aren't dying in their 20s and 30s from easily preventable illnesses anymore. So, why not go further? Yeah, I think if you're going to go that far and extend life to such an extent where if you're careful, you can live as long as you want, euthanization should be legal. And it shouldn't be something that requires a certain amount of health degradation either. People should be legally able to choose the point when they want to cease their existence. Okay. That should be perfectly okay. Because it's their life, it's their decision. I don't think the government has any right to interfere with that. And if medical science is that advanced, then things like depression are easily curable, right? So if someone does have depression, you'll just be able to go into the doctor um, and get sorted out. Because mental illness like that is something that we struggle to deal with these days, but with enough medical advancement, we can fix it, no problem. Um, because it just involves learning more about the brain, and we can definitely do that. There are certain treatments existing right now that can actually deal with that kind of thing. But they involve rather invasive procedures right now, because the technology isn't quite there yet. But once it is, it'll be as easy as flicking a switch. Mm -hmm. 
I think if you're going to extend life, a way of ending it um, legitimately, illegally, and uh, morally uh, is something that's necessary. Hello there. Please move behind the barrier. Ten million hours playtime. <laughs> Maybe. And besides, the physical is just one realm of existence. You've also got the virtual. And uh, mind uploading will be a thing eventually. You'll be able to live in a virtual world as long as you want as well. And any kind of virtual world you could imagine. So if you wanted to, Boris, you'd eventually be able to live in the Lord of the Rings universe. Empty. In whichever time period of that universe you want. As whoever you want. So, I think once mind uploading is a thing, there will be companies that crop up that will offer a digital afterlife. That will basically offer a service where they'll upload your consciousness if you're, um, you know, if you're deathly ill, they can upload your consciousness to their framework and you can live out a virtual afterlife until your mortal frame has ceased to function. Right. And that means your relatives can visit you and hang out with you in that virtual world, whether they're alive or dead. Because... Uh, a lot of people would be able to interface with it as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah. A lot of cool stuff coming in the future. A lot of stuff to look forward to. Hello. Mm. You could, you would be able to do whatever you want. You'd have the option of, of course, they'd want, they'd offer solo experiences, group experiences. Because they want to cater to all kinds of people. Right? So it'd be a sort of virtual holodeck kind of model where you can shape the world any way you want. Now this may not come like first. It, it may take a while to get there. But essentially, eventually, AI would be advanced enough and frequent enough to do exactly what it does in Star Trek, where you ask the computer to create something for you and it just does it. Right there and then. Um, and it would be smart enough to do it the way you imagine it. But here's the thing. It would be a direct interface with the computer uh, through uh, neural implants. So it would know exactly what you want. But you wouldn't have to wrestle with it to get it to do what you want. You would just make it. Yeah, you'd be able to live in anime if you wanted to. You can have as many anime girls as you want. Or boys, if that's your preference. Right. Anna! Oh yeah. Killed Anna. Ooh. The thing is, though, privacy is something that is a legacy system. 
Privacy is something that has been eroding for many, many, many years and will continue to do so. Whether you like it or not, whether you object or not, it's just something that will just go away over time and people will just accept it. Right. It'll just be normalized. Each step in the less and less privity direction will get normalized over time and eventually everyone will be so open just because everyone is so open. And everyone will share everything because it's just normal. There are a lot of companies trying to make money off, off the fact that people are objecting to erosions of privacy. And a lot of companies that are just spitting out lies in terms of things like VPNs. Um, just to make some easy money, right? The question you have to ask is, what are they doing with that data? Why do they need it? And most of the time, it's all about advertising. How do I sell you stuff you actually want? That's mostly what it's about. And most of the time, this data is anonymous. And when it's not, it's deliberately targeted uh, in order to figure out your preferences, your likes, your dislikes to serve you better advertising and to try to um, get you to buy things you actually want. I don't see a problem with that at all. I honestly don't. If they want to learn what I like, what I dislike in order to sell me better stuff, I agree. Because I use an ad blocker anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's fun. And even if I didn't use an ad blocker, I'd be seeing ads that I, you know, that I'd actually be interested in, potentially. Or if I'm not, that's fine. It's still not objectionable stuff that I care not about. Not in the age before all this, you'd see generic adverts, and most of them you wouldn't care about at all. At all. You'd watch television and you'd see makeup ads. And you're a man, you don't care about makeup. And it's like, why am I seeing this? This is never something I'd buy. Right? And some ad serving systems don't use that kind of customization. Or it isn't quite set up properly, or it's a bit wonky. And it doesn't always get things right. But over time, these things will become more and more and more customized through more and more invasive uh, methods of trying to find your preferences. And in the end, the vast majority of the time, the data they're collecting, collecting is never for malicious purposes. It's only for advertising purposes. Right? It's highly unlikely any real person would go looking for your data to do malicious things to you. There are a lot of advertisements on YouTube and elsewhere for these VPNs that protect your privacy and all that kind of stuff, when in reality all they do is encrypt your data between yourself and the ISP. That's, that's it. Um, so all your ISP sees is that you're using a VPN, and that's all they know. Well... All the websites you visit are still going to see your data because in the end the VPN can't encrypt the stuff it sends between the website and itself because the website needs to see that stuff, <laughs> right? So essentially all you're doing is hiding behind a VPN 
but none of the rest of the stuff is is changed right your personal IP that's hidden but why would anyone need that a lot of services now look for VPNs and say I oh, know I'm not gonna serve you using a VPN I need to know where you are in order to make sure you're not somewhere you're not supposed to be So it can actually be a, a detrimental to use a VPN a lot of the time. Um, VPNs can be useful though. VPNs aren't useless. For websites that aren't configured to detect VPNs, you can use them to save a lot of money. Because some websites will offer better deals to certain people in certain countries. So if you mess around with it, you can actually save a lot of money on things like air tickets, right? Airline tickets, you can save a lot of money on. Or um, buying certain digital goods, usually sold at a lower price in certain countries. If you're doing naughty things online and you want to make sure that uh, they can't find out exactly who you are, using a VPN it certainly protects your identity in terms of your, who you actually are uh, but the thing is if you're say going on Facebook and just chatting about the place and doing all that kind of stuff you can still get cookies and cookies will track you. <laughs> so it's not as protective as they try to make it out. Mm -hmm. All right, see you later, G. Um, the room is that beta may be next month. Um, I watched a J3 clip where he where he was mentioning it and then kind of made it out to be oops I said that by mistake I shouldn't have said that I don't know whether he was memeing or whether it was an actual slip up I, I don't know couldn't say uh, but I think if they did release beta next month it would be a good time to do it it's their anniversary Valorant just came out and tried to steal a load of people away from Overwatch so if they were going to release a beta a good time to do it is May um, it would make a lot of sense for them to do that and I'm excited for it because yeah, it's more my jam than this game I'm going to grind Overwatch 2 I'm going to play a lot of it yeah a lot Because it's definitely up my street, right? I uh, I do like PVE content, and Overwatch is that. So they're taking a game I love and making it even better. It's nice. Mm. Imagine if it is trash. It won't be though, because it's Blizzard. And they're going to make sure it's not. Now traveling to Petra. Yeah, they'll realize how wrong they are if they think it's just the same game rebranded. And then they'll be like, oh, it's actually good. Yes, Blizzard have made mistakes in the past, of course, but they've always corrected them, tried to make make an improve, make make them better. Diablo three was was a mess at the beginning, but over time they made it much much better, and now it's actually decent. Moving up. Okay, Dave. Aww. I said 
What are you doing, bro? Stop sleeping in. Sleeping? That's killing. Only sleep day. Oh. Now entering King's, King's Bow. Bow. Select your hero. The thing about Diablo 3 is it's a mistake they'll never repeat. They learnt their lesson. It was an experiment and it didn't pay off. Personality synchronization 100%. Hey. Good to be back. Last minute check. <laughs> Everyone squared away. Hey, hey. Attack commences in 30 seconds. Healing. Look after yourselves out there. I'll get us home safe. Get behind me. Da -da. Battle for Azeroth. The thing about Battle for Azeroth is it's uh it's one of those things that it's a game that's very old at this point. It originally came out in 2004. And it's not easy to keep a game like that going without messing up more and more over time. It's difficult. It's very difficult. Um, especially in terms of developers. Uh, over time, the development team changes and the vision for the game changes over time. Uh, potentially, the vision gets a bit out of stuff with the players. Um, but what's happening is a very different situation to Overwatch 2. So Overwatch 2, the game, Overwatch itself has only been out for almost four years, as opposed to World of Warcraft's so over 15. And the feedback between the Overwatch community and the Overwatch development team has been strong. So they have a good idea of what the player base wants. And the player base has said loudly and clearly that they want what Overwatch 2 will be. And with World of Warcraft, you've got to realise uh, that the pattern of expansions is usually good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Good, bad. Alternates and Battle for Azeroth is the bad one, so Shadowlands is a good one, right? Now that that pattern isn't foolproof; it has fluctuated over time. Um, I'd I'd say both Burning Crusade and Lich King were good, and then Kata was bad, right? and then. Miss was bad, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it, it varies, it varies. Um, I did. I did enjoy the like reveal cinematic for uh, Shadowlands. <clears throat> that was really cool. I saw a clip from Asmund Bold where he was exploring um, out of bounds areas with his group, and then a GM came along and killed them all. And then uh, said GG. Yeah, end of the map. That was a learning experience. <laughs> Get healed. Yeah, that was good. 
One of my uh, one of my most memorable moments from the Lich King expansion was when I had the genius idea. I was with a group of friends, and we had the genius idea of going into one of the cells in the Violet Hold, which is like the prison uh, instance in Dalaran. There are various jail cells dotted around, some of them with bosses inside, which open up uh, various parts. And uh, yeah, like, hey, why not go in one of these cells and see what happens when the uh, instance resets? So I went in and the, uh, like the door closed. It was like a force field of sorts. And we all ended up stuck inside the cell. We couldn't get out. We'd all recently used our hearthstone. So I, uh, I opened up a ticket to uh, ask the GM for help because we had no way of getting out. Um, it took a little while for the GM to respond. By the time they actually did, most of us had managed to uh, just half out by that point, just return to the dungeon. So by the time he actually turned up, uh, most of us had gotten out. So he just messed around with us for a bit. Um, he turned us all into farm animals of various sorts. That was funny. I think they found it rather amusing that we've managed to get ourselves stuck in a, in a cell. Because <laughs> that's not a usual problem. For and I took a few screenshots. I don't know whether those screenshots are still have them. I don't think so. I think they ended up being on a hard drive that died. So I lost them. But it was quite fun. Any tips to improve? If you want to improve at the game, the best resource you have at your disposal is the replay system. So if you have a match that you think, oh, I don't know what I did wrong there, or uh, let's have a look, see what I did, see what I could have done better, you watch your match through again and try to be very critical of your own decisions, try to figure out why you died and so on. Um, potentially what you could have done differently in order to do things better. You need to constantly evaluate your own skill, where your weaknesses lie and what you can do better at your time. If you keep doing that, you'll, you'll improve. Because the only way of, of knowing how to improve is knowing what you need to improve, right? Because <laughs> if you don't know what you're bad at, you don't know how to improve. So that's the best thing you can do. And the, um, the most powerful part of the replay system was recently added, which is the ability to share your replays. So you can find some people who are much better at the game than you, ask them to have a look at your replays and give you tips. And you can do that either live or, or you know, over time, because the replay code will work until the game is patched. So, uh, there are various services out there if you're willing to put a, a little bit of money down you can get people who are very very good at the game to review your gameplay either live or through the replay system and their advice is is extremely valuable right hey karibo And there are loads of different workshop modes that, were, that exist to help you with certain skills and improving. So uh, search those out. So if you need improvements on your aim, there are a load of different aim 
workshop modes that allow you to practice your aim, for example. Got room for one more? Yeah, I could fit you in. What's your battle tag? sitting in a bush for three hours. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Just loading up. Okie dokie. <laughs> Doing recon on an airbase. Right. <laughs> Ten kilometers behind enemy lines. Oh. Too early. Is in the experimental mode. Stun nerfs. They're experimenting with stun nerfs. Oops, I didn't. It's likely that you're practicing either the wrong things or in the wrong way. Um, one possible thing to do would be to watch a load of uh, VOD reviews. Um, I'd recommend the uh, Overanalyze series by Stylosa. He does a good job of analyzing people's uh, gameplay and explaining what they're doing wrong. I'd suggest searching out a video from his series where he's analyzing uh, your rank and potentially your hero as well or one of the heroes that you like to play um, and although they're a different person they might be making some of the same mistakes so you could pick a lot up from that and not just from the rank that you are but all the different ranks because you can pick a lot of advice up that he's telling other people and use it for your own playing Yes. Just watch a, watch a whole bunch of that and try to implement some of the advice yourself. Just remember, the most important thing to remember is that only you 
can change your skill. It's not up to anyone else. The rest of your team have nothing to do with your personal skill. So you have to take full responsibility for your own skill and not blame your performance on anyone else. It's not their responsibility. Right? And I'm not saying that you've you've indicated that that's what you're doing, but I just like to remind everyone that that that's the case. Okay, it's not up to anyone else. Good, good, good. There are a lot of people that do that. A lot. And that's why they never climb, because they never take personal responsibility for their own skill. They expect everyone else to carry them all the time. And that's why they're not climbing, because the rest of their team aren't doing their job. They never take the time to look at themselves. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like bronze is one of those ranks where it, it doesn't really matter the role you're doing because bronze, you can get into silver if you understand the game mechanics properly. And that affects all roles, not just one. Uh, and the fundamentals of Overwatch is winning team fights. That's what it's all about. Winning team fights. Making sure the enemy is more dead than you are at all times, right? And that should be your role no matter what role you're playing. How you accomplish that role, that, that objective is different depending on what role you're playing. If you're playing tank, you're trying to prevent your, your own team from being less dead through mitigating the damage coming from the other team. If you're healer, you're trying to keep your own team less dead by making sure their health is topped up. And if you're damage, you're trying to make the other team more dead by killing them, right? So everything you do has to be working toward that goal, making the enemy team more dead and making your own team less dead. If you continue doing that, then, you know, you're, you're doing the right thing. And yourself being dead is no, never good, right? Because that doesn't help <laughs> in any way. There are scenarios where people do die deliberately, but that's usually in an effort to make their own team less dead overall by making sure they're all together, right? And in bronze, that rarely happens. You rarely get proper team play. So it's hard. It's it's hard. Um, what you have to do in bronze is just play as well as you can yourself and just hope the rest of your team play well enough to then win the match. There's not much you can do beyond that. Traveling to Horizon Luna. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Um, and there, there's... It's not just about overextending, it's about underextending as well. Because sometimes if you're the only one standing on the point and the rest of your team is off fighting elsewhere, they're down a player. They're fighting the enemy team with one less player because you're not there. Right? So that's a problem too. You have to find the right balance. You have to be constantly asking yourself, what's the plan, right? How are we going to win this next team fight? How are we going to either attack successfully or defend successfully? And am I helping right now? Uh, 
You can't just live in the moment. You have to think ahead. Too nervous to leave the point. If you've got a few bucks to spare, I definitely recommend um, having a look on Fiverr and seeing if you can find a, a coach just for a session or two um, because that will do wonders to helping you figure out where your problems lie. Because if your biggest problem is not knowing what you need to improve, then having someone who knows um, the game much, much, much better than you do in order to give you very specific advice is incredibly valuable. So I definitely recommend doing that if you can afford to. It doesn't even cost much. The meta does not apply to bronze, no, not in any way. <laughs> you can get to silver from bronze with any hero. Doesn't matter. At all. Yeah, there may be free coaching available in certain places. I wouldn't know about that myself, I don't seek it out. But the, probably the quickest and easiest way is through Fiverr or some other service like that. Free coaching will usually have a queue or, you know, lesser response times, maybe lesser quality, I don't know. Um, yeah, you could send a link to it if you think that would help. But yeah, if you're really struggling to figure out where your problems lie, seek out a coach. higher rank the better because it's better to get advice from say a top 500 or grandmaster than someone in gold if someone in gold would sure be better but they'd still be making a lot of mistakes and the worst thing you can do is learn a mistaken way to play even if it is better because then you have to unlearn those mistakes to get higher again once you get there <laughs> Better to learn the right way from the start. If you really care about improving, there are tons of resources in the world. ever been a high rank at something in a video game. Technically, yes, I think, but it doesn't really count. There was a game on... I think it was the Apple... Apple Store, whatever you call it. It was a, uh, like a... one of those online multiplayer games that... Uh, it was kind of, in a way, it was kind of like Clash of Clans, but it was tower defense style. You built like a tower defense maze, and then your base, your various buildings, and they got your resources to build armies to go raid with people. And quite early on, I found a very, very easy way of raiding people successfully every single time, which was basically just bombarding them with troops until they died. Um, just tons and tons and tons of cheap troops. It worked incredibly well, and I won every single match, almost every single match, I think, that I uh, entered into, and quickly rose to the top without spending any money on the game. Um, 
it was kind of silly. That game no longer exists. It got shut down. I guess they didn't make enough money from it. That was a learning experience. <laughs> they did eventually fix that uh, exploit where you could just bum rush them with hundreds of troops, basically. Um, but I'd stop playing by that point anyway. It was kind of boring because it was the same strategy every single time. Just dump as many troops as I could on them until they died. Um, yeah. It was just Zerg rushing just in, in that game. The game was called Toy Rush, I believe it was. Um, yeah, it was shut down. It was made by the guys who made Planetary Annihilation. Um, which is why I was interested in it. Well, I googled Toy Rush and it comes up with Toys R Us. <laughs> That's not right. And, you know, Overwatch, highest level. It's not really a, a rank, though, is it? It's just playtime. But, you know, it's highest. The uh, the Twitter account is still up. Play of the game. Huh. <laughs> they link to a website that doesn't exist. Perfect. Just realized this is the second time we've heard this song today. Oops. Oh well, that's a good one. Huge brain. <laughs> Lol. food okay lol what do you want walrus Physical confrontation. Fix your spelling first. Added all the voice lines for the new communication wheel interactions on PTR now. <laughs>
Yeah, when there's only about five people playing the game, it's easy to be top five, you know. Quickest unfollow you've ever done. You know, you've you've threatened to unfollow me many, many times, but uh, never actually done it, so don't believe you. Yeah, see? Don't believe you. <laughs> I think Torba's had too many pretzels. on him. Why pretzels? Because it's a food item. What about meatballs? Yeah, but pretzels are probably more fattening, aren't they? He might be Swedish, but he worked in America for a long time for Overwatch, so. <clears throat> Got to top 500 on Switch. Yeah, it's Diamond. <laughs> Once you get into Diamond, you're just top 500 on Switch. There's so few people watching. Yeah, watching, playing. arms. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? Muscly arms, fat belly. Fat. You overtook Max Lerner in messages. Oh. Fat. Fat ass. Fat legs. Welcome to Oasis. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Select your hero. No evidence that recovered patients are immune, says World Health Organization. Health agency warns governments against ish issuing immunity passports. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> that's concerning. If it is possible to be reinfected over and over, mm. this thing may not end until we have full rollout of vaccines, which is, at the moment, 
predicted to be spring next year. But a whole year away. Yeah, could go around a second time indeed. Second, third, fourth, depends on uh, how quickly we sold it. Because viruses are more prone to mutation. So if this thing is mutating rapidly, it can very well mutate enough to be uh, an unknown by the time it gets back to the person who's already have it. Their immune system is like, what is this? I don't know. And has to start all over again. Interesting if I end up getting away with never getting it. Mm. How is Echo with cars on this map? You can ride the cars with Echo, it's just difficult to nail it. I think the best character for riding the cars is May because of our ice block. Super easy with that. You can do it with Echo. Oh, I had it there for a moment. <laughs> but yeah, if you glide in the direction the car is going and then lightly land on the roof, you can ride the car. Um, but you have to Let's time it right. If you time it wrong, it just doesn't work. Yeah, see, I timed it wrong. Changing position. Um, I saw a few days ago a demonstration of NVIDIA's new voice tech which uh, uses AI to filter out non-voice sounds from the mic input. I was like, ooh, that sounds cool. But you need an RTX graphics card for that, which I don't have, so that's a bit rough. So if I had one of those, I could filter out all the clacky noises. Hey, too much gun. Regeneration complete. Switching back to combat mode. Till Valhalla. Switching back to combat mode. What the fuck? Well, you don't want to buy an overpriced gun. They're not overpriced if you do want the same the uh, features that they provide. Do AMD cards do ray tracing and that voice tech stuff? Don't do school, eat your drugs, stay in vegetables. Yep, sounds about right. Score. Zero. 
to one. Mm -hmm. you believe all the the next one does ray tracing extremely well, apparently. They beat the 2080 Ti by like 20 to 30 percent. Really interesting. Stick together. We will complete our mission. I don't think I've ever had an AMD card. Ever. scenario do you think an AMD card would be good? Get hit by every stray bullet there is. Chips run cool. You've nearly had to remortgage the house to keep the 9700k cool. 
That's a lie. Well, yeah. I'd, I'd question what you were doing if it was that expensive. Trying to laser cool your PC or something. That's not cheap. And laser cooling is a thing. That's how you get stuff down to like almost zero degrees Kelvin by using lasers. Wait, what? Stream moments just timed you out for no reason, Walrus. Oh, no, wait, I know the reason. You were using a lot of symbols. Too many question marks. Oops. Uh... Wow, that's a big difference in price. Ah, <laughs> hmm. oh, you're talking in caps. No caps. Hmm. Hmm. Ba -ba. So it would be good CPU and GPU to build a streaming PC out of these days. And how much would it cost to make a system built around those components? Well, my current PC costs two grand, and that's with an Intel CPU and a NVIDIA GPU. So if I was looking for something equivalent along the AMD route. Because ideally at some point I'd want to get a second PC so I can have a two PC setup. One built for the gaming part and one built for the streaming part. Right. Uh, I'm using the new NVENC right now and it's uh, not impressed me so far. I get about 1-2% to two percent missed frames and 1-2% to two percent skipped frames. With the old system, I got barely anything at all, like close to zero of both. Uh, I'm using a 1080. So, yeah, not that great. And I've Googled it, and a lot of other people are having the same issue with no apparent solution either. And with the current version of OBS, there's no way to go back to the old version. It's NVENC or X whatever it is, the CPU encoding. And for me, CPU encoding is awful for my frame rate. Yeah, I don't know. 
know. But my CPU gets absolutely hammered if I try to do CPU encoding. Without CPU encoding, my CPU runs um, maybe 70-80%. And that's without CPU encoding. At the moment, it's running... Yeah, that's 75. So yeah, I can't do CPU encoding. I have to do GPU encoding. And it's not great either. I've tried to turn off a load of settings which um, increase GPU demand, but that's done nothing. So... Yeah, that's money though, and I don't have money. Financial situation isn't great right now. I have currently have my job income, but that's only as a result of the government subsidies. And uh, I don't know whether that's going to continue after the end of May or not. So spending money now would be foolish. Because I don't know whether it's going to be topped back up again after May. I'm running a 6700K, which is overclocked at 4.5 gigahertz. It seems to work okay. Several generations old at this point, but still a decent CPU. Yeah. Skelor. If I did split it up into two PCs, then my problems would be gone, essentially. Because uh, most of my problems come from having to run everything on the same machine. When I'm not streaming, my frame rate is as high as I want it. When I am streaming, all of the streaming stuff eats into my frame rate bit by bit. In theory, my setup should be perfect. It should, I should have no problem with streaming this one. CPU is decent. GPU is decent. I've got two GPUs. A 1080 and a 1070. So I can run my main screen off the 1080 and the other screens off the 1070. And that definitely helped when I made that change. The 1070 takes a huge load off my 1080. Still not enough of a difference to have perfect frame rate, but... Well, he's streaming World of Warcraft, that's not very demanding. <laughs> it's just not. World of Warcraft came out in 2004. Although the graphics engine has been upgraded several times, it's still a very old game.
Aww. I mean, if you're making a huge amount of money from streaming, it makes sense to spend a, a good amount of money on getting a decent setup. So technical issues are essentially non-existent. You don't want to be limited by PC hardware if you can afford to be. Not limited, right? And the kind of money that these these popular streamers make is pretty insane. So they can spend a pretty insane amount on the hardware. It's just how it is. Some some popular streamers don't care enough to do that, but a lot of them do. I don't have the motivation to play it because it's fun. It's a fun game. I play to have fun. Uh, I don't care about winning or losing. I don't care about competitive. I just play. If the goal is fun, the. Uh, Goal is accomplished very easily. Right. The goal is winning, you can only do that half the time. So half the time you're gonna be disappointed. I'm not the not the type of person that needs to win every time. And that works to my advantage. See you later, Zay does. What did I do? You played the game. Congrats. Oh, look at that. Yeah, total miss. Lovely. I skill. Two whole kills. Wow. Thank you, thank you.
I am looking forward to Overwatch 2, though, because that's more my jam. Because it's PvE stuff. And PvE plus a world like Overwatch, that's, that's going to be great. Because I like the archive stuff, and I wish I had more. And there will be more with Overwatch 2. A whole lot more. And that's exciting. If you whisper me the link, I can post it in chat. Uh, the quick play is like my main focus, which I made look nice. Um, all modes did look like that until I played a load of Mystery Heroes. <laughs> and now it's a bit of a mess. But that's fine. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere at zero hours and then go up from there. Um, I still, I think I still have, uh, I think my earliest recording of Overwatch, I don't think I've ever shown it. It was, um, when I was super, super low level and I was recording it to see how good the recording would be. Cause, uh, even at that point, I was thinking, hmm, maybe I could stream this. But my PC was trash at the time. Like, real trash. <laughs> so, it just didn't work. Uh, the 29th of May. That's, uh, like, five days after the game came out. Let's, uh, let's open up a new... A new media player. So it, my music isn't interrupted. Let's see. It's it's only a very short recording, but <sighs> one minute in duration. Spike and I were just trying to follow Applejack's list as closely as possible. Mm, maybe not the best plan. I'm sorry, Apple. I, I was watching something at the time, but you know. Wow, well, look at this, look at this old, this, this is, this is like this, the early hero gallery. Looks super different. Wow. Level 31 as well. I was just looking through stuff. Oh yeah, this isn't the gameplay. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Level 34, a few levels later. This was the next day, I think. But look at the frame rate, it's pretty trash. This is the quality that I could record at with my old PC. <laughs> I was getting 40 frame frames per second. While just recording. That doesn't look like a personalized link that you've sent me there. I think this is the default thumbnail, isn't it? The default crosshair. Wow. Oh yeah, the, the match rating thing. 
Good to be back. That's nuts. Why oh, is there two versions of the same thing? But yeah, super old recording. Come on, no. Where did they go? I gave away my location. Ah! I could have hit there successfully. It's just this. Come on, get him. Oh, I almost had him. Something happened and now we're taking the point. What's up, Clapsy? Yeah, almost break time. Probably after this. And then I'll see about finishing Doom after the break. We're on the last mission. Gonna go and fight that big guy we let free having a nice wander around and we'll just kill him. no no not the games. gta chaos is working again so if i manage to beat doom fairly quickly we'll go to back to that today if not 
We'll do that on Monday. I'm taking the objective. Wondering where everyone else is. What makes Roblox different to Minecraft? Way more competitive, and in what world would that appeal to me? <laughs> Wait, Dave, we don't like competitive. You know that. Oh. I, I thought you that left Punk in season six because you loved it so much. It was just too much. Yeah, just loved it too much. Couldn't couldn't do it anymore. You were addicted. They've got a doom fist. Oh. Doom fist! Because I said we are meteor strike. Oh, I got two meteor strikes out of that. Nice. Didn't kill anyone. But, you know. Okay, good. Victory. Break time? I mean, I should have din dins on the way shortly, but it's not here yet. Play of the game. Do I ever play competitive? I used to. The last time I was placed in competitive was season five though, so it's been a, a long time. <laughs> a long, long, long time. Ah. Oh. It's a load of rubbish. T1 on an alt account. Well, I, if, if I am, I don't even know uh, what that account is or what the login details are. So, uh, yeah, not very useful. Anyway, it's time for some din dins for me and a break. And after the break, I'll be giving the final mission of Doom Eternal a go. See if I can complete it today. So uh, that'll be nice. And if I do that fairly quickly, we'll do some GTA Chaos until the end of the stream. So see you soon. 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe a little bit more since I don't have my din dins yet. We'll see. <laughs> 